Hi, this is Nat from website-superhero.com and today we are setting up AMP for WordPress. So why should we care about AMP? We should care about AMP because Google now controls 92% of the search engine market share worldwide. So if now Google is prioritizing AMP as they are, and you want to show up right here in this carousel, you need to AMP your pages. Luckily, it's quick and it's free and it's easy and we're going to do it and it's going to be awesome. So log into your website, go to your plugins page, and then you can go to add new and look for them there. Or you can go straight to these plugin pages and download them and then upload the files to your website. Links are under the video. So first we're going to need this plugin, AMP by Automatic. This one is required. Install that and activate it. And then if you're using Yoast SEO, you also want to install Glue for Yoast SEO and AMP. Install it and activate it. Once you have both of those plugins installed and ready, as you can see right here and right here, for this one, you don't have to worry about it. You are done though with that one. Next one, Glue for Yoast SEO and AMP. That's the one you want to play with. So the way you access it is you go to Yoast SEO and then all the way down to AMP right here. The first thing you're going to do is go to your log into Google Analytics, grab your tracking code, and pop it into the Analytics tab right here, and then click Save Changes. Awesome sauce. Now Google Analytics will track your visits and traffic to your AMP posts in addition to your regular posts and pages. The next thing is that you can go to the Design tab and customize it a little bit. So I will show you. This is what a regular blog post on my website looks like. And the same blog post in AMP form looks like this. So it looks totally generic and boring. Colors are gone, fonts are gone, logos gone, right? So what you can do here is at least customize the colors a little bit. It doesn't let you do that much, but it is nice that it lets you do a little. And if you're code friendly, you can add some code right here to your AMP pages, which is pretty excellent. The next thing we're going to do is test what we did to see that it worked because we're done. So what you want to do is grab one of these and to get to one of these, you just go to any of your blog posts and you just add AMP to them and click enter and you get this. And this is what you want to come here to the AMP test page and then paste it in there and run your test. So we're going to let Google fetch it and tell us what it thinks. <laughs> awesome. So this is what you want to see. You want to see the green circle with the lightning bolt and for it to say valid AMP page. And then if this is an important link, you want to click here where it says submit to Google so that Google will see it a lot sooner so that it will index it almost immediately. So you actually want to go back to the AMP test page and pop in the AMP URLs for your most important posts so that they'll show up in Google super quickly. And then eventually the last thing you want to do is go into your search console, which hopefully is also set up. And under search appearance, you go down to accelerated mobile pages, aka AMP, and you will find how many are indexed by Google and if any have errors that you need to fix. And if there are errors, you will find some information here. Currently, I'm being congratulated because I have no AMP error. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you thought. And thank you so much for watching.